ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಪೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂ ಹೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶ್ವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವಯಿ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೇಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತ್ವಾಲ್ಯವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಾಸಿತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪಂ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪುಹಾರಂ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ ತ್ವಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ 
जैसास्ति भक्ति भगवती अकिंचना सर्वगुण सत्र समासति सर हरो अभक्त सुकुतो महोदगुण मनोरथी न सतो धवतो जैस्यास्ति भक्तिर्भगवती अकिंचना सर्वगुण सत्र सती सुरा हरो अभक्त सुकुतो महदगुण मनोरथी न सतो धवतो वही गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल दैट उदाउट उदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग गुरु तत्ता इफ वी आर नॉट एस्टाब्लिश इन गुरु तत्ता वी कैन नॉट स्टार्ट भजन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल दैट इफ वी आर नॉट एस्टाब्लिश इन गुरु तत्ता देन वी कैन नॉट स्टार्ट हरिभजन नॉट पॉसिबल हु इज गुरु हु इज ऑल द टाइम बिजी विथ भगवत सेवा आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स हु इज एंगेज इन हु इज एंगेज इन हरि गुरु वैष्णव सेवा हु इज ट्राइंग टू डू समथिंग फॉर भगवान गुरु वैष्णव धाम नाम एनी थिंग रिलेटेड ही इज एक्चुअली वैष्णव ही इज गुरु गुरु प्रॉपर स्पीकिंग इवन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड इन द लाइफ ऑफ सदगुरु नॉट गोइंग इन वैन इन द लाइफ ऑफ ए सदगुरु यू कैन नॉट फाइंड दैट इवन वन मिनिट वन सेकेंड गोइंग इन वैन नॉट पॉसिबल मेनी टाइम प्रोपाद यूज टू से that those who are guru vishnu they can they can see the far consequence suppose bonded soul they are feeling some enjoying it it's quite natural sometime bonded soul not sometime always bonded soul always enjoying having some enjoying mood but those who are trying to become sadhu bonded soul common bonded soul i am not because how i can count them but i am speaking about those who are trying to become vaishnav at least who are those who are coming to do hari naam hari katha hearing for them proper special speaking that vaishnavas suppose they are feeling some attraction for something enjoying mood they should think about the far reaching consequent of that object suppose i like to enjoy but after enjoying after enjoying what will happen prabhupad many time used to say those are specially those who are in renounced order those who like to get bhagwan this life those who are not going to wait for another life those who don't like to take risks those who don't like to take risks of another life this life for them many time i told niskinchana sa bhagwat bhajan unmukasyo पारंग पारंग जी गो मीशो भव सागर शो संदर्शन विषय न मथ जिसीतानंद च हा हंत हा हंत विष भक्नो व्यसाधु राजदर्शन राजदर्शन राजा राजदर्शन जोशी दर्शन विथ एंजॉय जोशी दर्शन मीन विथ एंजॉयंग मूड अदरवाइज हाउ यू कैन सी जोशी जोशी मीन दिस वर्ड मीन when you are looking anything with enjoying mood that become joshi sanga for you so a vaishnava always he is vaishnav who is always having guru darshan there is two type of darshan here one is maya darshan one is guru darshan two type of darshan two type of darshan in our life one is maya darshan i mean by the backing of maya what i am seeing everything with enjoying mood that is called maya darshan and another is guru darshan a pure guru vaishnav always having guru darshan they are always having vaikuntha darshan guru darshan mean guru darshan mean vaikuntha darshan 
Guru Darshan means Vaikuntha Darshan. Those who are pure Guru Vaishnava, they even in negative situation, they can see positive. That is called Vaikuntha Darshan. Total adversive situation all around you. But you can discover yourself in a very, very suitable condition. That is called Vaikuntha Darshan. Vaikuntha Darshan means always positive Darshan, no negative Darshan. Vaikuntha Darshan means Guru Darshan. Guru Darshan means oh, each and every object, every man, whatever you look, you are thinking this is the item of Guru Shiva. Any flower in the garden, any fruits in the forest, anything what you, even your wife, children, husband, whatever you have in your life, you can think, this is not for my enjoyment, this is for the seva of Guru. That is called Guru Darshan. So, this kind of Guru Darshan, if we can develop in our life, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu giving instruction, Amar Agai Guru Hoya Taro Eidesh. It is my instruction to you. It is my instruction to you. You can become Guru. Amar Agai Guru Hoya Taro Eidesh. It is my instruction, it is my order to you. You become Guru and try to deliver all bonded soul. You can remember Prabhupada told, we Gauriyas are always ready to shed gallons of blood for the emancipation, for the emancipation of the uh, of those common you know people, bonded souls. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu giving instruction, Amar Agai Guru Haya Tarohi Desh. It is my order to you, instruction. You become guru and uh, you try to deliver all bonded soul. It is the standing order. Prabhupada many times speaking, don't try to act as guru. Don't try to act as guru if, if you are in bonded condition. If you are in bonded condition yourself, then you don't try to act as Guru. Many times Prabhupada told, many times I can show you in Harikatha, Prabhupada. Prabhupada speaking, those who are unable to do, chant pure Harinam. Remember, <coughs> those, who are <coughs> those who are unable to chant pure Harinam, those who are unable to chant pure Harinam, if they are giving Diksha to others, I mean, those who are the followers of these sadhu acharyas, they all can go to hell. They cannot, big problem. With anartha, with anartha, if sometime, if anartha, with anartha, if somebody like to act as guru, then it is a big danger. Then all his followers, everything, they can take, and you know, go to hell. Big problem, anartha. So, Papa speaking, to cheat people, to cheat people, don't act as Guru. To cheat people, don't act as Guru. To cheat people, don't act as Guru. If you can get the full mercy of your, your Guru, try to understand. Papa speaking, if you are enjoying the full kipa of your Guru, Suppose if I am enjoying the full kipa of Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. Papa speaking. If you are enjoying the full kipa of your Sadguru, then no problem. If you are enjoying the full kipa of your Sadguru, follow. In that case, no problem. If you are enjoying full kipa of Guru Pad Padma, then you can speak Harikatha, bless people, deliver people, no problem. Baba speaking. If you are not going to get full kipa of Guru Pad Padma, whereas you like to become, then if you like to become an Acharya, I mean if you like to give initiation to others, then you, you and your followers can go to hell. Big problem. Nobody can. So, Amar Agai Guru Hayya Taro Eidesh. Big problem. This way, all the time, 
always and every time we must see guru we must have guru darshan everywhere whatever we look here and there we we cannot look anything with enjoying mood we can see with guru darshan we can so popad used to say if we are not established in guru tatva we cannot do guru seva and there is countless problem in our life and there is countless problem in your life we can face with different problem all the time there is no guarantee there is no guarantee that we can come out successful because maya always deluding energy always going to oppose oppose us oppose us but the time when mayadevi can discover discover i am enjoying full guru kripa then mayadevi cannot disturb if mayadevi can if mayadevi can discover that i am enjoying full kripa my sadguru in that case mayadevi cannot disturb you those demi gods those who are usually going against you specially those who are stepping into renounce order those who are going to step into renounce order brahmachari sanyasi these that they for them always demi gods mayadevi always going to oppose them because anyway we are swimming against maya follow try to do suppose there is heavy current in a suppose there is heavy current in a river ha eh? and if you swim against current follow there is a heavy current in a river this way and you are just swimming just against against that current how much trouble you will have to face don't worry always try to remember always try to remember that we are swimming against maya we are actually going against maya but if our mind soul and heart everything rest resting unto the lotus feet of sadguru pad padma we need not think there because guru pad padma help us to cross i am speaking in general i am speaking those who are guru shevak those who are guru shevak actual guru das for them this is not problem they can easily because already many time i told you na rajas tamascha satye na satyancha upasame na cha etat sarvam guru bhakta purushohi anjasa jayat by guru bhakti guru seva can very easily cross so in general in general we can say we are all cross we are all swimming against maya maya going to push us maya going to push us in maya ha eh? illusion and we are just going to cut maya and go so naturally those who are not feeling comfortable in mot those who are not feeling comfortable to follow the instruction of guru pad pad for them there is big problem for them there is big problem always they can feel some th- from the problem coming facing they can feel horrible situation but for gurudas there is no problem and i was speaking there is countless different kind of problem different kind of problem countless problem can come to check us to stop us doing bhajan like the case of pullad maharaj you already know i am going to start about that mahapurush discussing about pullad maharaj you see about dubha maharaj you see who not everybody even radharani radharani even all the time problem all the time krishna bhajan means krishna bhajan means you will have to follow countless adversities problem different kind of adversities you will have to face krishna bhajan means krishna bhajan naturally krishna bhajan means or you have to face you know you have to face quite natural but that is a speciality with one krishna bhakta that in the life of krishna bhakta there cannot be any complaint in their life 
That is a speciality. That is a speciality of Krishna Bhakta. They can never feel, they can, they can never see any, they can never put any complaint against them. Anything watching, anything what is happening, they think it is by the desire of Krishna. Asklishva padaratam pinastumam adarsanat maramatum karatuba jatha tathava vidatulam padamatmanathastu. They think directly or indirectly everything done by Krishna. So I can think Krishna is going to test me, putting in problem. We know the case of Jarabharat Bharatji Maharaj. We know, we know the case of Bharatji Maharaj, you know, Bharat Maharaj. Bharat Maharaj was enjoying full sovereignty all over the world. You know, Bharat Maharaj, very powerful. But that Bharat Maharaj going to leave everything, all beautiful wives, children, I mean, daughters, son, everything, all kingship, everything, like stool and urine. It is written. Jaho, it is written, Jo, about Priyabrata it is written, about Priyabrata it is written. Also we can apply this case about Bharat Maharaj. Jahu Malavat, Malmat, Malavat means like urine and stool. After passing urine and stool you are not going to play your head about it. Jahu Malavat, Mal means urine, urine and stool. Mal means stool. That Bharat Maharaj, you think of that. How much detachment can be there? Normal, not forcefully. How much normal detachment can, de and can be there inside the heart of Bharat Maharaj or Priya Bratha so that they can leave everything and go to forest to do bhajan? Bharat Maharaj going to forest to do bhajan, I mean, he is leaving everything, everything and going to Pulaha Ashram. In a Nepal, Nepal, sloping Nepal, there, in Gandaki Nadi, where Salagram, Bhagavan making Salagram, Gandaki Nadi doing bhajan. It's Ganmisra Bhakti. Ganmisra Bhakti also can have devotion. Ganmisra Bhakti. Ganmisra Bhakti is also nice. So Ganmisra Bhakti doing. And he was almost successful. Try to understand. He was almost, he was years, years after years, he is doing very nice bhajan from morning to night. Whole day. From morning time, very early in the morning, taking bath in Gandaki Nodi, doing chanting Gayatri in Gandaki Nodi, half water. But how it is possible to Bharat Maharaj to be in illusion? Follow. How is possible the Bharat Maharaj fall down in illusion? There is some judgment there also. And there is so, so many conception there I can discuss someday. Today I can touch only. What is that? First point is that Bharat Maharaj was almost successful in it bhajan. He used to chant Gayatri everything. In the when sun sun god going to appear in the sunlight, he is going to see, you know, Gayatri Dev, and chanting Aunt Annik very nicely. He was almost successful, full, no problem. Fruits and flowers, only support, nothing else. But still, he was almost coming out successful. In the meantime, what happens? Who knows? One morning time is watching one dear baby taking birth, mother going to die immediately and the baby coming out of the womb of mother and, and the, in the flow of water going away. Immediately, Bharat Maharaj told, thought it is my responsibility to save that dear baby. Is going to save the dear baby from current water, current water, and eh? going to save. And after that, what happened? He is going to take care of that baby so deeply that he gradually going to leave all bhajan and going to concentrate on this object of Maya. Because that baby, mother is not there. 
cannot take any grass, nothing. Going in long, you know, village to collect milk and these, and arranging that milk to, you know, feeding. This way, the dear baby from birth time, going to watch, is my mother, father, everything, Bharat Maharaj. So naturally playing with him, all the time what happens? Now, due to full concentration in dear baby, he is going to lose his bhajan gradually and finally going to leave bhajan totally. At the time of that, he was thinking about the dear baby, Jang Jang Baopi Saranam Bhavam, Saran Bhavam, Tayyuti Anti Kalivaram, Sang, you know, same according to that. At the time of death, what you are concentrating, according, according to that, you will have to take birth. Tang Tame Veva, there is a condition. He is taking birth. He is also taking birth at a Bharat Maharaj taking birth in the form of dear baby. But anyway, there is speciality due to due to his exclusive bhajan, due to his exclusive hari bhajan, he could remember everything about his previous life. He was lamenting day and night, crying, and after that, going to and going to leave his dear mother. That dear also took birth from mother, going to leave and going to his previous bhajan place. Where Bharat Maha used to do bhajan, that place he reached and crying, watching, this is my bhajan spot, this is Gandhagi Nadi, oh my God, due to, due to illusion, I leave Hari Bhajan, I am going to sell myself, I am going to sell myself unto a lotus feet of Maya. Ah, I am going to sell myself unto a lotus feet of Maya. Ah, oh my God. Now, Vishwana Chakodeva speaking, I am speaking this, this evidence so that we all must be very careful. There, there should be two types of parabdha. Two types of parabdha, you know, according to previous karma fall, what is going to happen? That is called parabdha. Vishwana Chakodeva speaking, there can be two types of parabdha. One is one parabdha is Shubha parabdha. Shubha mane, very good, lucky parabdha. And another parabdha is another ill parabdha or very bad parabdha. Vishwanachakur speaking, don't, thinking, don't think it otherwise about Bharat Maharaj. Follow. Actually, there is two types of parabdha. One is Shubha parabdha and another is Asubo, bad parabdha, inauspicious parabdha. Shubha parabdha, what do you mean by Shubha parabdha? Vishwanath Chakoti was speaking, when Bhagavan, when Bhagavan, when Bhagavan like to do special kipa to any devotee, when Bhagavan want to increase the anxiety inside the heart of a devotee, when Bhagavan purposely want to increase the anxiety inside the heart of a devotee, sometimes Bhagavan purposely, you know, sending some illusion-like thing. Not illusion actually, illusion-like thing. Like the case, for so long, years after years, Bharat Maharaj doing bhajan, why especially that day, why especially that day, Bharat Maharaj feeling attraction for that small baby? And at all, after, after Bharat Maharaj is going to deliver that baby, after he could, he could arrange, he could arrange some alternative, follow. With a dear baby, okay, dear baby, but he could find some alternative. Like the case, the small baby, oh, a small baby cannot take grass, so I must go to village, to long distance village, going to collect milk. Or why not you take the baby and give to the village man? You can take, you know, can take care, why not? Why you are going to keep? You deliver, okay, no problem. It's their, it's their duty, you deliver. But you should think, because of that dear baby, I am going to lose my budget. 
So it was your duty to take the baby and go to Valley, village and hand over to the, you can take care of that. They could take care of. But you are going to take risks. This way you are going to lose all your bhajan. Vishwa Chakudu was speaking. It was not totally, it was not at all inauspicious parabdha. It was very auspicious parabdha, shubha parabdha. Why? Vishwanath was speaking, because of this dear baby, he is going to lose bhajan, okay. But why? Because there were for years, for years he was doing bhajan. There was no question of any maya. He was almost going to, almost he is going to come out successful. In that case, why he is going to? Whereas this Maharaj, he left all like stool and urine. Whereas, whereas this Maharaj, Bharat Maharaj, left everything like stool and urine in his life. Big kingship, wife, children, I mean daughter, you know, son, like eyeball. They are like eyeball in his life. When he is successful to leave everything, without any compromise, then how after long, when he is going to get maturity, in that case, this kind of illusion is absurd. It cannot so happen. Because he was not so foolish. But it's happening. So it is one kind of arrangement, Vishwaja was speaking, it is one kind of arrangement by Bhagavan, not by Maya. Bhagavan, you know, going to send, so that he can feel Tremendous anxiety onward, like in the form of when he took birth as he is lamenting. And that is lamenting, that is anxiety can give him bumper success. If in your life you are not going to feel any anxiety that I am not going to meet with Bhagavan, or I am not getting the keep of Guru Vaishnava, then your bhajan is not perfect bhajan. Anxiety is a must. I am not speaking about material anxiety. Surely I am not speaking about material anxiety. If you are leading a very peaceful life, well, I have some deposit money, I can cook and take and sometimes go. No! Always anxiety. Why I cannot get Bhagavan? Why I can get Kripa? This kind of sweet anxiety should be there. This kind of, this kind of thing can happen in the life of a you know, devotee, nice devotee, can happen. This kind of problem can happen. This, this is the arrangement by Bhagavan, not by Maya. But when, according to your previous bad activities, you are going to suffer, you are going to fall down, that is not actually, that is by Maya. But in case of Bharat Mahara, Vishnu Chakrasvi, it is called actual Shubha Parabdha. So anyway, we must be ready. I am speaking both the case. We must be ready to we must be ready to face any kind of shubha parabdha or ashubha parabdha. We must be ready because who knows? We cannot see our parabdha previous. Anything can happen in your life. Eh? Some maya can come in the form of beautiful ladies, in form of handsome man, in form of money, position. Everything can come in our life. To make us fall down, follow what I say. You must be very careful. Now, we have taken resolution to discuss about all our Guru Bharga, especially those who wanted to follow Prabhupada in total. Those who wanted to follow Prabhupada in total. I mean, those who are in line with Prabhupada, especially about them, I am going to discuss this thing. Today actually is the appearance day of a great exalted devotee like eh, you know, Bhakti Saurabh Bhakti Sar Maharaj. Bhakti Saurabh Bhakti Sar Maharaj, you know the Sarabhuj Murti, six sand near Gopinath Gorimant before. From here, if you approach towards Gopinath Gorimant, you can find left hand side one temple, six sand. You have seen six sand. You never see foolish number. <laughs> like blind running head. Cannot see. <laughs> six and six Mahaprabhu. 
Ah, no, follow. That is the temple. Anyway, I like to speak something about that great exalted devotee. I was speaking in the beginning that without, without understanding Guru Tattva, not understanding. If, you were, if, if we are not established in Guru Tattva, we cannot do Hari Bhajan. We cannot start Hari Bhajan. Follow. This exalted devotee, I can speak about, I like to discuss some glories about him. He took birth in the year of 1902. He took birth in the year of 1902. 1902. Follow. He took birth in 1902. Uh, not what is called Khulna. In one district of Bangladesh, at present Bangladesh, that one, but previous that were undivided India. So it was East Bengal, West Bengal. Now it is Bangladesh. But previously it was India. Follow. Previously it was India. Now we can say, now we can say it is Bengal. Previously it was East Bengal and West Bengal, this much. So it took birth. Today, this city, today, this city, he took birth in Kulna. In Kulna district, one village, very nice. He was from a very high family. High family as a very, in general term, not, I, can, I cannot say only high family. He was from a very pious family, pious. Very, very pious, very, very pious family. He took birth. You know, his father was Shashi, uh, 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 Shashi Chandra, Shashi, Ch Shashi, Shashi Chandra Bandhubadhyay, Shashi Chandra Bandhubadhyay, Ma Saivalini, this name, anyway, and when the boy took birth, it was very abnormal. Abnormal, not like general one. It was very speciality. As well. And his name was his, his name was given Nanda Gopal. His name was given Nanda Gopal. So Nanda Gopal Bandhubadhyay. His name was his name was Nanda Gopal Bandhubadhyay. Very well. So the boy from very small, you know, childhood was a special boy. His appearance, his you know, character, behavior, all very small, very special. And very, very intelligent boy. Very, very intelligent boy. He used to, you know, read and write so nicely from childhood, very. So after completing his uh, primary education, after completing his primary education, he was admitted in secondary, you know, for secondary education, primary education done. And his result was very good. And in secondary education means up to 10th, uh, 11th class, because that time it was matriculation. That time is the system from five, primary education means, from infant, one, two, three, four. It's called primary. And prime from five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, that is called matriculation. After that, in our life, the system changing, they make the system ten plus two. They make the system, and our time, ten plus two. I mean, anyway, we'll have to come up to ten, he will have to appear, appear in government, education, uh, government exam. After that, you can again take admission 11, 12. My 10 plus 2. After that, you can, you can step into college for graduation. But that time, it was a system. After 11, you can go directly to college. It's called matriculation. Matriculation. So, his result was abnormally good. Abnormally. So excellent result. And... After that matriculation done, his, I, I should say because uh, he used to he used to glorify his own father 
very much. He used to say, I, I always pray Dandavada unto a lotus feet of my father, who was so pious man, so straightforward, truthfulness was there in his life, so holy life he used to lead on. Very pious man, very straightforward. He was against any, against any, any illegal activities. Always, yes, very legally. So, Maharaj used to say, my father was very, very special father, not like ordinary father. His character, his straightforwardness, his power, yeah, his bhajan, bhajan means before taking diksha, before taking diksha, before taking diksha, bhajan cannot start. But still, according to general conception, you can find in the, in the life of somebody, they even before getting diksha, they used to hear Harikatha, Kirtan, do Dupa, Deepa to Bhagavan, usually. You can find in some case. I know without, I know without taking shelter and lotus feet of Sadhguru, bhajan cannot start. Okay. But in, because according to their previous sanskar, you, you, according to their previous sanskar, you can find some, some jivatma, some man, from very small boyhood, they used to worship Bhagavan, give dipa, dupa, even in playing mood, playing with Bhagavan. They even in, like Nityananda, like our, you know, Uddhavji Maharaj, Nityananda, or oh, so many examples. About Prabhupada, we can say, Bhakti Mithagur, we can say. All, Sivananda Sen, they used to play with Bhagavan. Play with Bhagavan, they used to install deity or pottery, worship. In our life also, we used to make deity, worship. These days, a playing, a playing game. Mahabharat, we are playing, you know, Mahabharat, Ramayana, or drama, a small voice. So it's a game, but still with Bhagavan. Julan, you know Julan? Swing, we used to do Radha Krishna, we bring Nishinga Dev, we bring and, and make you know, Julan, so many uh, <coughs> small, small idols, you know, we bring from market and arrange so many nice. <coughs> There's a system. So, according to his previous sanskar, he was very much in favor of Hari Bhajan. And because Father is also very nice. Father is so, 100% huh? in favor of bhajan. In favor of bhajan. After passing matriculation, after passing matriculation with letter marks in three or four subjects. Letter marks, you know, you don't know, foolish. Letter marks, more than 80%. When somebody is going to get marks in any subject more than 80 percent they can s s get one appreciation letter from government like mathematics physics chemistry you can get letter it's called letter marks so he was successful to pass matriculation bumper success three or four letter marks in three or four subjects very nice after that, he took decision to go for engineering course. Follow. After completing matriculation, after completing matriculation, he took decision to get admission in engineering college. Engineering college. Where is the engineering college? Engineering college in Kotak. Urisha Kotak, you know? Urisha Kotak? There you go. So the family man, I mean father, mother, or whatever they have, they took decision to leave the village, uh, village house, and they rented one room there, one building, building there, in Kotok, and they, there he took admission in college, engineering Kotok engineering college. Kotok engineering college is very important college, and he was also very. Uh, Intelligent student, na? so naturally 
is going to draw the attention of this professor in a school, in a school life also, also in engineering college also, naturally. But very positive point is that, very positive point in his, in his life was that, Always he wanted to take information about spiritual life. He always wanted to get some spiritual development all the time. That was his positive point in life. And another point <coughs> in Bhuvaneshwar, Goryamad is that Kotok, Apobad used to install eh? different kind of modes. From Goryamad, Brajo Bihari Baba. Brajo Bihari Baba means a Babaji, maybe, white vest. So, one Babaji Maharaj used to take care of the temple. So, usually he used to go for begging. He is going, alarm, alarm, begging <coughs> to go. <coughs> and he used to go to their house also. And the house of Sila Brajagopal Prabhu. I mean, Shashidhar Prabhu. Sashi Chanda, Sashi Dhar. His name is Sashi Dhar. Their house. When Brajabhari Babaji Maharaj used to go for begging to their house, it was the usual rules. It was the usual rules that he used to speak Harikatha. Because there is all Uriya people. Most of the people in the, most of the people in the local, locality, they are Uriya, na? By chance, they find one Bengali man from Bengal. Eh? Shashidhar Prabhu and his Nandugupal, mother is Saivalini. Very, the all, whole family. Their whole family used to sit in front of Brajabhari Baba and Brajabhari Baba used to speak Harikatha. It was the usual. They are giving some bhiksha. But Bhiksha is not so important, this Bhiksha is okay. But it was the instruction of Prabhupada, like the case of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu used to speak, used to give instruction to Nityananda Haridas. Jao Jao Haridas, Jao Jao, Jaya Jao Haridas, Jao Nityananda. Oh Nityananda Haridas, you go to different, you know, house and speak Harinam to them. Speak Harinam to them. Prabhupada not speaking, you can beg some rice from them. Anyway, if they are going for begging, they can give something. Okay, you can take. But it was the instruction of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Haridas or Nityananda, you can go and speak Harinam to everybody. It was the instruction. On these topics, I can speak special Harikata someday. Because in Namaparad, I was discussing in Rasamrita Sindhu, Bengali, those who are Bengali people hearing this speech, they can understand. Someday I can discuss all in details about, I already discussed, but not so details. About Namaparad, there one, one, one kind of Namaparad you can find. You should not give Harinam to those who have no Shraddhya. You don't know. Namaparat, ten number, you read, na? You already, everybody read. You can find one Namaparat who has no Shraddhya, who has no Shraddhya, you should not give Harinam, it's offense. Now, I can speak all in details about this subject matter. I like to discuss all in details about this subject matter to prove that our Guru Bhargo not has done no wrong. Our Guru Bhargo, those who are newly, you know, those who are not established in Guru Tattva, those who are not established in, you know, Madhya Madhikari, higher level. I am not speaking about them. They have no right. But I am speaking about our Guru Varga, Parame Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, you know, Prabhupada, you know, Bhakti Bhavad They have given initiation to so many people. So many people they have given. In that case, some of them fall down, some of them not doing bhajan, nothing properly, so many things. Follow. Now, question can arise, they have done mistake in their life. They have done mistake in their life. They are giving Harinam to somebody. Hey, Hari Ball, Hari, speak Hari. 
Nitandog used to go to market, Nay, hey, Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol. Why? They have no Shraddha. Why you are speaking? So they have done any mistake or no? Why Gauranga Mahaprabhu is speaking? That those who don't like to speak, but still you can, you can, you know, you can, you can arrange the situation in such a way they are bound to speak Hariya. Follow. Why? Is that aparad or not? I can discuss special discussion on this subject so that nobody can misunderstand. First question is there. If I discuss this point, I get time cannot allow. Follow. So what do you mean? What do you mean? Because it is written in ten, you know, Dasabhida Namaparad, one Namaparad, those who are not having any any faith. Those who are not having any faith. If you are going to give Harinam is Aparad, how is that possible? How is that possible? Because those who are having faith, they naturally can speak Harina. Faith means strong belief in Shastra, Shadu, Bachan. Follow. Faith means, what do you mean faith? Shodda Sabde Kwahe Shudhira Vishwas. So those who have already Vishwas, they, they need not put force on them. They can automatically do, they can come to me here, Harika. But I am speaking Harikatha in front of bonded soul also. Is it offensive for me? Is what? Was it, was it, uh, uh, of, was it one offense on the part of, you know, Rasikananda Babu to speak Harinam to elephant, mad elephant? Was it offense for any Mahajan to speak Harinam to one, you know, intoxicated man who is drinking wine, or, you know, heroine, heroine, ganja. You know, at the time, at that time, long ago, 40 years, 50 years back in America, hippie group, hippie. You know hippie group? Eh? You don't know hippie group? Those, you know, no father, no mother, ladies and young men, they are taking charas, ah, they are enjoying their life. Follow. So to speak Harinam in front of them is offensive or not? Was it offense on the part of Nityananda? Was it offense on the part of Nityananda to speak Harinam in front of Jagai Madai? The drunkard? Oh, they are drunkard. Offensive. Then in Namaparad, why it is written? But to speak Harinam to a man having no faith is offensive. I can discuss about this point. So you need not remind me, I can remind. I can remind you. Someday I can discuss all in details. What is the positive, what is negative, what is the fact? Now I like to discuss Brajabihari Baba find that they are positive mood. Because anyway they are from Bangladesh. Nityananda Prabhu, Gauranga Mahaprabhu went to Bangladesh. So most of the people in Bangladesh they are having faith in Bhagavan. Follow. Most of the people they have. Due to the blessing of Nityananda. Nityananda Babu also went. Gauranga Mahaprabhu specially went uh, uh, there in Bangladesh. Paul. Not as a, as, a, as a teacher. As a teacher he went. But it was one kind of pretext. As a teacher he went. But he wanted to preach Harinam Sankita. Harinam Sankita. Anyway. So now point is then Bajabi Hari Baba used to speak nice Hari Katha in front of them. They with full meditation used to hear. Ah, oh, so nice. After that, hearing Hari Katha, because Bajabi Hari Baba was a disciple of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So gradually, Shashi Babu, I mean the father of Nanda Gopal. He is going to discover that day by day my son developing indifferent attitude. Follow. Day by day he is watching my son day by day developing detachment, developing indifferent attitude. It's not of giving full you know, attention to his studies. Rather, 
is feeling his mood of knowing all Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, Atma Tattva. He used to go to Brajavihari Baba to ask. Then someday, someday, Shashi Babu speaking to the son, my son, you speak clear cut. Don't try to hide. If you are feeling tremendous attraction for your spiritual life, then I, I myself can arrange. I am not like other fathers. I am not like ordinary fathers, general fathers. I am your special father. If you are really interested about this kind of, you know, you know, Atma Tattva, you are very much interested, I myself can go to Mayapur and, you know, I can allow you to take Diksha Harinam from the lotus feet of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Papu or at all if you would like to serve Sadguru, I can arrange everything. Don't worry. You speak out clearly. Please you speak out clearly what you like to do. I can arrange everything. Follow. Then the boy was bound to speak, Father, what to speak? Day by day I am feeling attraction for spiritual life. My education, okay, engineering, engineering, okay, but I, I cannot concentrate. I feel more attraction that side. I am feeling more attraction that side. What to do? Well, I can take you, I can take you to Mayapur. Don't worry. Then, father, mother, Saivalini Devi, father and the boy from Kotak, they at the time of Gaurapurnim, coming straight away here to meet with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada because already the letter was given by Brajo Bihari Baba that one family that one family a feeling attraction for you one family feeling tremendous attraction onto your lotus feet so I am going to send them this and this debt Around tentative, tentative that time, they are going to reach Mayapur. Please, Prabhupada, bless me. This way, I like to do seva. So they are going to come in Mayapur. They are coming in Mayapur. They are going to meet with Prabhupada, Shashi Babu and his wife. I mean, then this way, what happens, you know? When they are going to submit unto the lotus feet of Prabhupada, by looking their family status, I mean, their mood, Prabhupada was very much happy. Prabhupada was very much happy to, to wash Shashi Babu uh, and his son, I mean, this boy, Nando Gopal, Prabhu and wife, all they together took Harinam Diksha from Bhakti Siddhanta. All they took. Because Prabhupada was over sanguine. Prabhupada was over sanguine about the genuinity. So he took him. After that, for a long time, after that long time, this they wanted to stay in Mayapur for a long time. They started hearing, firing Harikatha from the lotus mouth of Sila Prabhupada, long time. After some long, after after some time, and a by the by, I should, I, I should say, the name of this Nando Gopal was very good name. So Popad wanted to change a little bit, a little bit. Nando Dulal, Nando Gopal was there. Nando Gopal and Nando Dulal. Popad changed a little bit. As his name was Nando Dulal, very educated man. Very smart, very intelligent, IQ very nice, having full faith in Guru Vishnu. What else we want? What else we need? The boy is having full faith before coming to Guru Dev, full Vishwas. So, very intelligent, very IQ. So, Prabhupada was very happy. Prabhupada wanted to introduce, introduce this devotee with all Mathavasis. And when the day came, when the, when the day came, when they are supposed to go away to Katak, father asking to the boy, for a long time we are here, they will have to go back to Katak. Uh, anyway, we have not, 
the, the boy with folded hand speaking to father, you told me you are ready to engage me in Guru Seva. So better if you don't uh, take me to Kotak. I don't like to go back to Kotak. Really? I don't like to go back. I can feel myself lucky if you allow me to serve this great exalted devotee, Bhagavad Parshat, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Well, you can stay here. We are going. You can stay. I bless you, my son. I bless you. You come out successful in your bhajan life, in Guru Seva. Okay, I am going. Father, mother, going. Huh? And in case of other father, mother, General boy, they are crying, eh? they are crying, my son gone, written order. Eh? When the son going to America for study, earning money, then they are claiming, my son is staying in America, huh? you know. Then they are not crying. Follow. This is the condition of mother. <laughs> I told this argument to my mother. My friend going to America for study, his mother not crying. And I am going to, for bhajan you are crying, eh, maya, <laughs> then it stop. Follow, this is the condition. So, the father, mother, very good parent, they gone, leaving the boy, the boy is serving, Prabhupada was very happy, Prabhupada is going to engage him in, in, Nadia Prakash editing, there was editing group also, this Nandadulal Prabhu, Okay, there was Shubha Vilas Prabhu, I was speaking that day, Shubha Vilas. Shubha Vilas, I told now that day, previous day. Are you? Who? I was speaking of Bhakti Mahik Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj. Shubha Vilas that time. Uh, Krishna Kanti, Shaman Goswami Maharaj, where I go to speak Harikata Bengali. Krishna Kanti Prabhu. Pranamananda Bhavam, our Guru Mahal, they are all one group. They used to edit Nadia Prakash. Prabhupada was very happy. Prabhupada was very happy to see their teamwork. Prabhupada was very happy to see their teamwork, very happy. And not only that, Prabhupada wanted to engage this Nanda Dulal Prabhu as a teacher of Bhakti Binari Institute. Follow. Bhakti Mini Siru, no? Bhakti Mini Siru? Niyajuk. So, Prabhupada took decision. So, Prabhupada took decision to engage Nanda Dulal Prabhu as the teacher of that Bhakti Mini Siru. Religious teachers. There are so many teachers, teachers of mathematics, teachers of chemistry, physics, so many. History, English. But he was appointed as a spiritual and a leader, and a teacher. I used to have very successful lives. And for a long time they started doing seva. And uh, Prabhupada was very happy. In the year of 1900, in the year of 1936, 31st December, or I, I would say 1937, 1st January, when Prabhupada left, Around 5 o'clock morning time. For 5 o'clock, around 5 o'clock. When Prabhupada left his body, then there was some problem, you know, problem was there. And he wanted to manage himself in this problem. But anyway, the problem was very acute problem, I mean big problem. So he was a very gentleman, very soft personality. He took decision what to do. I cannot fight with them. Let me go. He? Went away in different places. What to do? After that, he wanted to join. He wanted to join Goswami Maharaj because by that time, by that time, Goswami Maharaj was successful to recover the place of Imlitala. Goswami Maharaj was successful to recover the place of Imlitala. By that time, Goswami also took one small place there in Nandagram. I used to do bhajan there also. Goswami Maharaj used to do. So, this Nandadulal Prabhu took decision. 
took decision to stay with this exalted devotee, Bhakti Sharanga Goswami Maharaj. Because Goswami Maharaj wa was, you know, was already sannyasi, because sannyasi was given by Prabhupada, na? Bon Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhakti, we all given sannyasi by them, by Prabhupada. So for a long time he is saying there, Imlitala, doing nice bhajan there. After that, Gosai Maharaj, you know, he was feeling comfortable there. He was feeling very comfortable in Imlitala, Imlitala Mat, Gauriya Mat, Imlitala Gauriya Mat, very nice under the guidance of Gosai Maharaj, whom he whom he took as his Sikha Guru, non-different from Prabhupada. Follow. You should do. After that, Gosai Maharaj left his body. After that, Gosai Maharaj left his body. In that case, he was the in that case he was the senior most personality. In that case, when when Gosai Maharaj left body, he was the senior most personality in in Goryamat, in Lithala Goryamat. So naturally, some of his god brother was also there. And some of them, the disciple of Gosai Maharaj, most of them, they took decision to they took decision to make him, they took decision to make him Acharya of this man. They took decision to make him Acharya of that man. Okay. But he was not at all ready. He told, I don't no, no, you are the you are the senior most personality and we 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 think you are our non-different from Gurudev, so I'll have to. So he was bound to do. After some time, after some years, those who took sannyas from Bhakti, in the meantime I forget to speak to you, he took sannyas from he took sannyas from Gosai Maharaj, even even before leaving body. Before leaving body, Gosai Maharaj, before leaving body, he took sannyas from Gosai Maharaj. His name was Bhakti Saura Bhakti Sar. Ah. Follow. Bhakti Saura Bhakti Sar. Follow. And also he received one title from Vishwabhajanam Rasava and a Gaur Pacharani Sava. At the time, a Gaur Purnia Prabhupada used to confer, give different title. His name was, uh, uh, I, ki, I forget one nice name, small name, Lolitna something. He got title. Bhakti Lolita something. He got title. Anyway, he got one certificate from Prabhupada. Anyway, uh, now I am speaking, before give living body, before Goswami le left body, he took sannyas from Goswami. So anyway, after living, they all took decision to make him Acharya of that month. Okay. After that, Bhakti, Shaura Bhakti, Shar Maharaj, he was the Acharya of that month, very successfully, because he is very educated, very intelligent. He is really... Renounce order, what do you mean by renounce order? If you look at Bhakti, Shaura, Bhakti, you can understand renounce order. No attachment to anything. But anyway, Mayadavi is there. It is the plotting of Mayadavi. All Psalms, Sannyasi, those who are the disciples of Gosai Maharaj, who took Sannyas from this Acharya, I mean Bhakti, Shaura, they started one plotting. This is the element of Maya. They wanted to throw away from this Acharya post. Follow. They wanted to throw him away from Acharya post. Sometime it happens so. Sometime it happens so. One, one Acharya I know, like the case of Vaikhanas Maharaj. He is not going to make anybody Acharya. He is going to give responsibility to Bhakti Bhaiva Pari Maharaj. He can utter. When some godbrother are there, they are making Acharya. Or sometimes they are not making Acharya. Sometimes it happens. So Gosai Maharaj, uh, before taking any decision, before taking any decision, he had to leave body, leave body. Anyway, 
Now they are making one uh, politics to throw him away from Acharya post. When he came to know, when he came to know, they don't want me to act as Acharya. When they came to know, they no more want me to act as Acharya. He wrote one resignation letter and handed it over to the managing committee. I don't act as Acharya anymore. I, don't. I like to leave. Then all his God brother like Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami and all, they appreciate him. You are really, you are really powerful. You never have any attraction for anything. So left. He gave resignation. Okay, you run your own organization. I am. I was serving Sila Bhakti Sharanga Goswami Maharaj. This is not my Acharya ship. This was. This was not my Acharya ship. Only I wanted to serve my Shiksha Guru Bhakti Sharanga Goswami Maharaj with full respect. This is not my Acharya ship. Anyway, if you don't like, I like to give you resignation. He's going to give resignation to them. Uh, and after that, he left that society. He left society, what to do? After that, our Madhu Parambuja, Madhu Gusi Maharaj requested him, you can make one temple. So, Sar Maharaj took one small, that time land was very cheap, but still it was very, because money was not there, na? shortage of money was there. That time, he took a piece of land there, a piece of land from perhaps, so long as I remember, he took a land from Paramahansa Maharaj, because it adjacent temple is Paramahansa Maharaj. He buy, he bought. <coughs> After that, going to install one deity, deity installation ceremony, he invites all great bhakti from Turikishi Maharaj, you will have to please my God Brother, you have to come and you will have to install this deity. Six hand. Gauranga Mahapu, six hand. So, I know Guru Maharaj was bound to because this, though he is junior God Brother, not senior, Guru Maharaj is senior. But anyway, Guru Maharaj used to respect him very much. Those junior, it was the nature of Guru Maharaj. For me, Siddhar Goswami is a junior, but still Guru Maharaj used to respect. Like senior. It's the nature. <laughs> they have no quality. At present, if there is one nice God Brother, nobody can support you. They can make politics. If they find this God Brother is nice, this God Brother never likes to get money, position, diksha, shiksha, nothing. Only, but still they can make politics. But that time it was not that kind of situation. So anyway, Guru Maharaj was bound to install deities here in Mayapur, six hand, and the day of installation, after installation done, regular Seva Puja was established by Shar Maharaj, and the ceremony was, you know, you know installation ceremony was there, and Bhakti began Bharatima, that time Narutam Prabhu. North, because that time Guru Maharaj had no separate temple. Guru Maharaj was there in Madhu Goswami Maharaj Man. Follow. That time Guru Maharaj was in from Chaitanya Goriyama. So naturally, Narottam Prabhu, Narottam Prabhu and my Guru Maharaj coming to participate, not participate, to install the deity. After installation done, Shar Goswami Maharaj requesting, you please take prasadam in the separate room because you have done so much, you know, energy. Because from morning time, now whole day, Guru Maharaj, whole day installation. You take some prasadam in the room. So, Narottama Brahmachari, I am Bharati Maharaj, and our Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, because that time there was no disciple of Guru Maharaj. Follow? Or maybe one or two other, that was Grihastha. Kenaram Prabhu, this, that. No. So, Bharati Maharaj and Guru Maharaj in a, sitting in a room, and they are uh, going to serve prasadam, when they are going to serve boiled rice, boiled rice, you know, boiled rice? No, no. Huh? Not crude rice. Not crude rice, boiled rice. When they are going to go in boiled rice, Narottama Bhamuchari is speaking to Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Bhakti Maharaj, boiled rice, what to do? It's boiled rice. Guru Maharaj, you see, you should remember this. Don't try to insult Prasadam. Narottama Bhamuchari is speaking, in my life I never took boiled rice. 
and you also. But now Maharaj giving this prasadam, what to do? Maharaj giving instruction, you take prasadam. So my Guru Maharaj speaking, when Vaishnava, when one pure Vaishnava giving this rice, we should not pass any judgment. Like the case Mahaprabhu told that, well, Madhavandha Puripa took prasadam in the house of a Brahman, very lower, lower, low class Brahman, where usually Vrajivas is not taking prasadam, any sannyasi brahmachari. But Guru, apart Prabhupada, actually Gauranga Mahaprabhu speaking, what my Mahajan, what my previous Guru Bhargava done, that is my rules. I don't like to play my head. Well, I can take prasad. Everybody can criticize you. Everybody can criticize you. Criticize you? Let them criticize. Let them criticize. Because Madhavendra Puripad, our Guru Bhargava took prasadam here. This is my rules. Mahajano jeno gato sapantha. I am not going to play my head. If I, going, if I am going to make some separate rules and regulation, then it is offensive for me. If I am going to change my decision, well, Madhavandu Bharata took prasadam, I am not going to take because it is low caste Brahman, then offense. Then I like to prove that I am more than Madhavandu Bharata. Follow. Then Bhakti Pama Purigashi Maharaj, we sparring, we sparring, you know, we sparring, we spar. I mean, speaking in ear. You take prasadam. Maharaj giving this rise, we should not pass any judgment. Maharaj is Vaishnava. now. He is giving this rise. Okay, this prasada. For two days. Only for two days you take. Because we should not insult. We should not ignore. Because Vaishnava's beam. Vaishnava, come on. Yes, they all took. North Tamadagar, Bharti Maharaj told me. Maharaj, he give. But uh, we never took. But that day Vaishnava speaking. Vaishnava giving. What to do? This way, instruction ceremony was there over. After that, Maharaj started mod, making mod in Shuri also, North Bengal. Shuri and in other places, three or four. In Vrindavan also, Vrindavan actually, after Maharaj gone, I think, is when installed there. Many times I speak Harikatha in that temple also. You, you cannot understand. Very uh, insight you cannot discover. Many times I went there. But now I have no time to go. They invited me to speak Harikatha also. And they are hearing online Harikatha all the time. That, that the, his name I forget is uh, is not his disciple. I mean disciple of disciple. Follow. I don't like to speak anyway. So he was successful to make different kind of mods in different places. So successfully. And Parambuja Madhav Goswami also used to invite him in different function. Calcutta. They used to arrange function Mayapur. They used to invite Bhakti Saura Bhakti Shar Maharaj. So Bhakti Saura Bhakti Shar Maharaj they used to go by the invitation of Maharaj, he used to speak Harikatha also there. Those are very, very, very soft relationship, I mean. Very soft relationship. He was very tranquil. He was very tranquil. He used to speak Harikatha. But, but like other Maharaj, but like other Maharaj, we, have ne we never saw him running here and there. He used to go. But not always. He used to stay in one place. Like our Madhu Maharaj. Okay, so they used to go na, all around. Eh? All around to speak. But he is not going so much. He used to go to some place, but not so always. Usually he used to do bhajan in Sar Sarabhajimot, in Sivri. He used to go. He used to go there. He used to speak Harikatha. His Harikatha was very powerful because he was a very you know, established Vaishnava. So naturally, and one day he took decision, one day he took decision to travel around North India. Different pilgrimage. Different pilgrimage in North India. So North India means first of all, he went to the temple of Goswami Maharaj, you know. Goswami Maharaj has temple, two temples. One is Indraprastha, 
and another is, you know, another place. I went there for different reason. Malka Ganj. One is Malka Ganj, Delhi. One is Indrapastha. Indrapastha, you know, Indrapastha is the place where Panchabandha they they established their, you know, their Raj Bhavan. Raj Bhavan. There. The Indraprastha. So Maharaj first went there in Indraprastha. And morning time, he used to travel in a, in a forest. That forest was three kilometers from there. It was not actually forest. It was, it was man-made. Government made this forest. It is not actually, actually not forest. That forest was arranged by government. It was government. She used to, morning time, he used to take Aridam and with Sevak, he used to travel long distance, four or five kilometers, and come back. And in between, if some professor of college, some master, some lawyer, doctor, he used to meet because Maharaj is a you know, tall figure, very nice, one sannyasi, and very nice looking, going. So some uh, professor, sannyasi, you know, doctor, a master used to pay pranam to Maharaj. I used to put some question. It was a general Mahayu walking. They are also walking and putting some question, hearing some. All Siddhanta Bija. That was the rules and regulation. Follow. So all our Guru Bhargava, including Sila Bhakti Pumat Purigashi Maharaj, Parame Madhugashi Maharaj, who not? Everybody, they used to love this, love this exalted devotee. Very nice. He was, his life was Stainless life. His life was stainless life. Stainless. Nobody can point out Maharaj Adhan. Stainless life. So I am very proud about him. Many times before, at present I have no time. If I go and I have no time to write nothing. Previously I used to go to this Sarabhajimar. They used to call me. But at present they know I am not going anywhere. Anyway, no question of invitation. I am not going because I have no time. Five, seven years back also, they used to call me, but I, I have no time. Now, I have, I, if I go on, <laughs> question of eating, I cannot eat. Question of sitting, I cannot sit. Many problems there. Now, anyway, so I am going to beg pardon and kipa unto a lotus feet of Bhakti, Shaura Bhakti, Shar Maharaj. The meaning of the name, Bhakti Shaura, I mean, the smell, the smell, the smell of his, the smell of his pure devotional practice, the smell of his pure devotional practice mood, going flavor, good smell like flower having smell going all around and give us satisfaction. We are happy. He is one kind of idealism in our life, whose life was totally stainless, never he fought with anybody. Oh, whole life. Very, very nice. And he started making disciples. So many disciples came. Some of them, some of them used to love me very, not some, most of them. Most of them, they live body. Madhav Maharaj was there. He used to live with me in Vrindavan. He used to live some other place. I used to live Gobodhan. He used to live that side. Madhav Maharaj. Madhav Maharaj, his name was Madhav Maharaj, and some six or seven years back, one Maharaj left, he used to stay in Chaitanya Gorimar. He also left body. They all used to love me. All, they used to love me. At present, I don't know who all there. I have no connection with them anyway. So, I like to beg for Kipa from Sila Maharaj, so that Maharaj can bless me. I can follow his idealism anyway. Bancha Kalpatarva Sikhi Pasindi I And the sloka I started with, you must remember, and the sloka I, I started with, I should speak at least one line about it. Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana Sarva Gunai Sattva Sama Sati Suraha Haru Avakta Shakuto Mahaduguna Manorathena Sato Dhabato Bhi. One line, I guess, which someday I can explain. Jashasi, who is having Akinchana Bhakti, 
who is having, like Maharaj, like Maharaj, who is having akinchana bhakti, who is niskinchana, akinchana bhakti, all the qualities of Bhagavan automatically going to rest inside his heart. And who is not devotee, how we can expect transcendental qualities to have inside them? Those who are non devotee, how we can expect transcendental, transcendental qualities to have inside them? We cannot expect any here. Jasyasti bhakti re bhagavati akinchana sarvaguna istatra shama sati swaraha haru abhakta shakuto mahadguna mano rathe na sato dhavato vahi vanchakalpaduru sikhe basindh bhavish patitanang pavana bhavishna vyo namo.